the surface area only applies to air resistance. Okay, if an object is being pushed along a solid surface, okay, if you push an object along a solid surface, okay, maybe I draw this out, okay, you know that there's a frictional force acting on it, right? Okay, surface area of the object will not affect the amount of frictional force generated. Take note of this, huh? air resistance, surface area will affect the amount of air resistance, but if an object is being pushed or pulled along a solid surface, surface area will not affect the amount of frictional force created. Frictional force converted, okay? Remember, uh, take note of this. Okay, when something is pushed along the solid surfaces, no change in frictional force. Okay, so a ball was released from point P of a ramp. It rolled down through points Q and R and came to a stop at point A, as shown in the diagram below. From point P to point R, it was rolling down, rolling down. Okay, when it was rolling down, what happens is that the potential energy should decrease because why? It's being converted to kinetic energy. So kinetic energy should increase. And remember, there are two surfaces in contact with each other. So friction is friction for frictional force is being generated, correct? So what must be used to overcome friction? Okay, the heat and sound energy must be used to overcome friction. So this one will increase as well. Okay, Crystal has a very good question. In exam, which do we put to be safe? Frictional force or water resistance? Okay, they already say already state two other forces, correct? So forces, water resistance, is there a word force inside? No, right? Okay, so to be safe, what you should write is, you should write the force. So what I would suggest and what the examiners really prefer is frictional force, okay? Not water resistance. 